You know those times where you want to motion track your video in Blender so you spend a lot of time setting up the tracking markers and getting the settings just right to realize that when you hit Ctrl T, Blender loses all of its tracking markers and gives you a solve error that is so high it's basically uncountable to the human brain. Well, you've come to the right place because I have a simple but awesome trick that will solve all your issues and make your lives much easier by giving you the most solid tracks that you'll ever get. Just like this. Now the object isn't the most realistic model or anything, but this is just a demonstration on how grounded the objects can be in your scene if you follow my tip. But before I explain to you the hack, we need to understand how motion tracking works. Well, motion tracking, or camera tracking to be specific, is where Blender or really any software pairs its virtual camera to the movement of your physical camera. Blender does this by finding distinguishable points in your scene and joins them to create triangles. Then Blender checks how the triangles deform as the frames go on. This is how Blender camera tracks. The tracking points can be really anything in the scene. In my case, I used a sheet of paper with dots, but you really don't have to do that. This is just for demonstration purposes as I found that giving Blender points to track is way more efficient than letting Blender find tracking points in an empty scene. Now that we know how motion tracking works, let's give a big drum roll for the great reveal of my trick. Depth or dimension or parallax. Here's what I mean. In my scene, if I had only motion tracking points on the floor, Blender wouldn't have had enough detail to camera track accurately. But since I added motion tracking points on another dimension, the wall, Blender got a lot more data to work with. Now this doesn't have to be a wall right against the floor like it is in my scene. It can be anywhere. It also doesn't need to be a floor and a wall specifically. As long as the tracking points aren't only in a certain axis and are in a mix of different axes such as Z, X and Y, you will give Blender enough data to give you solid tracks. Just make sure that you don't move your camera too fast or cause motion blur because that will throw off your motion track. But other than that, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and the notification button and I'll see you in the next one.